of you engaged in this process. I'm so excited to see this number of people fully engaged in conversations. Um, your board wants to hear from you, and your board does a great job of representing you. But tonight, uh, seeing you all fully engaged like this in conversations is just amazing to me. And uh, in the communication area, we just would really like to see more of a joint effort. Uh, in order to make sure that everybody knows exactly what's on the board, what type of cuts are possible, what type of specific cuts are going to be made, and how do we prioritize those? Because until we actually know what those are, we're really not sure what we're talking about. So I think that hopefully there's another meeting involved that will sort of lay out those things and we can more accurately prioritize what exactly is on the cutting board and what can or cannot be a priority at this point. Along those same lines, we also thought that it was important. Whatever cuts were made, it wasn't taken as a one-size-fits-all approach. For example, say in special education, or gifted and talented, or uh, other areas like that. You can't necessarily appreciate the impact of a 20% cut to special education where an individual student requires one-on-one -on -one attention like that. The same way that you can appreciate a cut uh, in a different area, just like a general classroom. It needs to be taken with that type of particularity and with that type of expertise and with that type of look at what's going on. Lastly, unfortunately, we understand our shelf and some cuts will have to be made, and we understand that that's there, but there is sort of that underlying question of why all at once? Is there any possibility that maybe we can sort of stretch these out over a little bit of time? Does it have to hurt all that much at like, one particular point, or can it be something that can be perhaps extended on into the next year? $20 million is a goal to get us to where our expenditure and revenue is balanced. Uh, but if we don't get there, we know that this may take a couple of years, but uh, we, we want to start with the goal of trying to get there, but we realize we might not get there. Hello, my name is Ben Childress. I'm a senior at Taste Creek High School. Our top priority is to retain quality teachers. Um, and to be specific, we're talking about those young, energetic, and untenured teachers that are often uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, Our next priority was to continue to close the achievement gap. And then finally, we want to work to minimize the impact to students. That means focusing on uh, the broader learning environment, those focusing on the child as a whole, um, and then keeping programs that benefit students. Um, so with RTP, thank you.